Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to the channel. And today we shall discuss about should you put your volume knob or the volume gain of your active speaker to 12 o'clock. So let's start our discussion about this topic now. So first we need to understand every speakers, every active speakers have their own gain structure for their volume. So let's inspect a few of the active loudspeaker to learn further how each of them are structured. So what we have now is the Behringer DR115 DSP in the screen now. So when we have a look, so we have two input, input one and input two here. As you can see, now in these pictures, the volume gain or the volume knob is put is at 12 o'clock. But you can see on the left side here, we have a line input. On the right side, we have the my input. And what does 12 o'clock means? So it means for a line level, it is at maximum level. And for a mic level, so when you input the mic, when you plug the mic to this input, it is at a minimum level. So it depends on what kind of input you are using. So if you are inserting inputs, I mean, from the mixers, I mean, the output of the mixer is connecting to these speakers, then putting at 12 o'clock is the correct way. But if you're using a microphone directly insert to this input, then the gain will be not enough for this microphone. So we need to put it to maximum for the mic input in order to get a good uh, gain or good volume from the microphone. So this is for the DR105 DSP. So we have another sample here, which is the Turbo Sound M15 Milan 15. So let's scroll up and have a look. So it has two input as well. So mic one, line one, mic one slash line two. So but you can see there's a switch on top of here on both inputs. So we can toggle between line input or mic input, and you can see. There's a scaling for the knob 0 to 10. So what is 0 and what is 10? I have no idea, but we can check further in the documentation. So let's check it out for this knob, number 14. So let's have a look. What does number 14 show us? So number 14 is a level control and it's a rotary level control which attenuates the input signal level of the connected instrument or line source or the mic source. So it attenuates the signal. I can assume that, so at number 10, so this is the unity gain or the 0 dB. At 0 dB, it means I did not increase the original signal or decrease the original signal. What happened if I put into 12 o'clock, which is position number 5? I have no idea because in this documentation, it does not let me know what is the scaling for each uh, of the numbering. I mean, uh, is it one means one dB, five means minus five dB. In this case, I would suggest you to put into the maximum. So in order you have a precise control from the mixers. Then I have another example. So this is from Audio Center. EA515 or 512 series. As you can see from the knob, we have minus infinity to 0 dB and at 12 o'clock, it is minus 10 dB. So here is stated clearly what is the attenuation at the different positioning of the knob or uh, precisely, we have a minus 10 dB at 12 o'clock. So, yes, if you put the knob at 12 o'clock, which means you actually you are reducing the amplifiers by minus 10 dB and this gives you a lot of trouble uh, in the future because you need to boost at least 10 dB from your mixers to get similar loudness. And if your mixer doesn't have such headroom, then you easily max your mixer output. So this is very important and my suggestion to put into 0 dB so you get more precise control from your mixers. And then we have another example. This is an active speaker from Top Pro. The model is XCS15A. And you can see from here, there's one knob. It's from minus infinity to maximum. 
okay and in the documentation i cannot find anything to support what is the max what i can only find is number 11 which is this knob it is a volume control and i do not know whether the maximum volume the maximum volume equals to 0 db so this one i need to check the physical unit to ensure that it is 0 db so after inspecting about four type of active loudspeaker so it's clearly that each loudspeaker is designed differently so do not put into 12 o'clock without understanding the gain structure of the volume knob of your loudspeakers so my advice to you to go to 0 db or you must understand whether your loudspeaker have a mic input or line input and ensure that the correct one is selected like the dr115 dsp when you put into the 12 o'clock it is a maximum for line input but it is a minimum for microphone input so in this case if you put to maximum for a line input then you will have high probability to get distortion or clipping in your active speakers there you have it that's my sharing on the gain structure so should you put on 12 o'clock it depends on your loudspeaker and it depends on the gain structure of your loudspeakers so that is all for today and see you again and bye bye